Hi there creators! It is absolutely no secret that the hardware needed for creative apps is in fact very similar to what you need as a gamer. So manufacturers these days either reprint some of their chassis for creators or create entire new lineups for creative folks and stuff high-end hardware in sleeker, better designed enclosures. That's what MSI did with their creator lineup, putting their target group right in the name of the device. If the sleek chassis of the Creator Z16P is able to keep up with the Alder Lake i9 and an RTX 3080 Ti, or if it will go up in flames, we will tell you in our review. Our review unit comes with the before mentioned i9 12900H, an RTX 3080 Ti, 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM and a 2 terabyte NVMe SSD. Despite the creative focus, MSI opted for a QHD Plus screen with a 165Hz refresh rate. If that is a disadvantage compared to 4K or OLED panels, we will see later in the review. Apart from the base, the creator is made from metal entirely and feels exceptionally sturdy and premium. Nothing creaks or bends and even the screen is very stable once adjusted. MSI achieves this by raising the display on its own two rubber feet which are able to provide additional support. This is a welcome attention to detail since you can also use the glossy touchscreen with an optional pen. Despite the powerful hardware, the Z16P is still relatively sleek, with a 16-inch footprint that is in line with competing devices like the MacBook Pro 16 and Gigabyte Aero 16. It is one of the slimmest devices but is also one of the heaviest in its class. For a detailed comparison, please check out our written review. Port selection is a little limited to be quite honest, although we get Thunderbolt 4 and a second USB-C that can also be used to charge the laptop and supports DisplayPort, there's only a single additional USB-A port. A second USB-A and an HDMI port would have been amazing to see. At least MSI managed to put in a full-size SD card slot, which is definitely nice to offload photos or videos quickly. The killer Wi-Fi 6E module on the other hand offers no reason to complain by offering very fast wireless transfers throughout our testing. MSI equips the creator with a 2 megapixel webcam, which is quite the upgrade compared to the competition that sometimes still just offers 720p sensors in their machines. The image is very detailed and can even handle difficult lighting situations. The four microphones also add to a solid video conferencing experience for your next work from home office days. The full RGB keyboard offers a lot of lighting customization, but can also convince with a very good typing experience. While there isn't a lot of travel, the clear pressure point and slight click made typing the script for this video a breeze. The trackpad is large and accurate and worked without any hiccups during our test. Furthermore, the QHD screen is a touchscreen and you can also interact with the creator using the MSI pen. I used the pen quite extensively for some of my retouching work during a recent trip. The active stylus offers over 4000 levels of pressure sensitivity and can be charged via USB-C. While it isn't the most ergonomic position to be working directly on a laptop screen, and it isn't something I would want to do for an 8 hour workday, it is a solid alternative to packing an additional pen tablet on short trips. The pen worked really well in Photoshop and gave me absolutely no reason to complain. The 165Hz 16x10 display is in the perfect sweet spot for gamers and content creators alike. While you don't really need the high refresh rate for creative apps, it is very nice to have and it makes the creator Z16 feel very smooth and snappy. The screen offers typical IPS contrast and viewing angles, and above average brightness with around 430 nits. Color reproduction is really good, and MSI did a great job with their factory calibration. You get almost full coverage for DCI-P3 and sRGB, and about 87% for Adobe RGB. For me personally, I would have loved to see a higher value for the latter, since it is the color space often used in photography and therefore retouching. But truth to be told, 87% is good enough for almost anything. And if you really need more, chances are you have a proper reference display attached to your laptop anyways. Our manual calibration took the already very solid Delta E from 1.7 to an even better 0.7. If you fancy doing your own calibration, you can do so with MSI's True Color app. The app also offers some presets, which is especially handy if you want to color grade video files, for example. Alright guys, let's talk performance. 
is the sleek Creator Z16P able to handle the most powerful core components currently available for laptops? Well, sort of, but not really, but in a way. Let me explain. In terms of the CPU, the Creator offers excellent results in our standard benchmarks. The i9-12900H is a great performer and offers both excellent single-core results and multi-core scores. This translates very well into real-world use. As I said, I was able to use the MSI as my daily driver for about 3 weeks. And everything from editing high-res images in Photoshop with up to 20 gigs per image to editing 4K video with both RAW files and compressed Sony codecs worked really well in my time with this thing. For full CPU workloads longer than let's say 10 minutes though, you have to be aware that the high power levels will be gradually reduced to keep up with the heat output of the i9. Things change slightly for the RTX 3080 Ti. With around 90 watts of available power, there's just no way the chip in the creator will be able to compete with thicker, high-end gaming laptops that can feed the GPU up to 150 watts or more. Still, creators get the advantage of having all the CUDA, ray tracing and tensor cores the big NVIDIA Ampere chip has to offer, which speed things up significantly in creative apps that support GPU acceleration, like some Adobe apps and Resolve 17 for example. Nevertheless, the chip is still offering great gaming performance, and the high refresh rate screen with its fast response time offers a lot of after-work gaming fun. You just have to manage your expectations when comparing the results to the competition, keeping in mind the slim chassis. In terms of fan noise, the Creator Z16P is your perfect office pal. While the fans are almost always on, they are barely audible during light workloads. Even while editing images or videos, the 16-inch laptop is very well behaved and operates a lot quieter than the competition. The downside of the quiet fans are high internal temperatures that often result in unpleasantly high surface temperatures as well. When rendering or playing games, you really want to stay away from the cooling vents since these get really, really hot. And the palm rest area can also get a bit sweaty after longer workloads. At least MSI was kind enough to include a tool to tweak the fan curve to your liking with their Center Pro app, so you can mitigate this problem at least a little bit. While the MSI might be a powerful tool when plugged in, the beefy hardware takes its toll on battery life. We only got barely 5 hours of battery in our standard web surfing test, which is even below similarly equipped laptops. That said, it is definitely enough to write a script or do some research in a cafe or a movie night with your loved ones. Alrighty folks, let's wrap things up. Is the Z16P worthy of its creator branding and its high price tag of around $4,300 or €4,600 respectively? While a lot of you will probably look at the benchmarks, especially in the GPU department and the high temperatures and the throttling in our stress tests, using the 16-inch laptop for all sorts of creative tasks was actually a very pleasant experience. It is easy to carry around, it can fit on any desk, the stylus lets you adjust images anywhere in an instant and with so much power available, rendering out a video quickly in a hotel room is absolutely no problem. That said, MSI can certainly improve on the available ports. We creatives like to plug in a lot of things into our laptops, especially when using them at home as part of a full setup. And I personally wouldn't mind louder fans for improved surface temperatures. But please let us know what you think about the combination of a slim chassis with very powerful hardware and what you would look for in a content creator branded notebook. Big thanks to MSI for providing our review unit and to my colleague Mario for writing the original review on our website. For all our results and in-depth analysis, please head over to our written review. You can find all the relevant links in the description below. Thanks a ton for watching and please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. We got a lot more videos coming. I'm Alex, you have been absolutely amazing and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.